This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. Hundreds of millions of people are owned by cats around the world. They're one of our most popular pets, and they've been domesticated for thousands of years. So what's the difference between house cats and tigers? Despite the obvious difference in size, all cats, no matter what the species, are very similar. Let's take a look. All cats are strict carnivores, whether they prefer a can of turkey delight or a whole turkey. Vegetables are not required. They love to sleep. It doesn't matter if they're a house panther or a black leopard, on average all cats sleep 16 to 20 hours every day. Cats are nocturnal by nature. Wild cats hunt during the night when it's cooler and under the cover of darkness, using their amazing eyesight to their advantage. Domestic cats retain this tendency to be more active when their human is not. Sleeping during the day while you're at work, then when you get home you provide them with food, play and social interaction and then go to bed. But their activity continues. Of course cats are still active during the day too. Wild cats can roam hundreds of square miles searching for prey and mates. They're also constantly marking their territory. In the wild they leave scratch marks on trees leaving a visual indication of their presence as well as sharpening and maintaining their claws. Hopefully your domestic cats will use a scratching post to do this, but that's not always guaranteed. Cats also have scent glands all over their body, including the forehead, cheeks, chin and lips. So when they're rubbing on objects, they're also claiming them as their own. Yep, that includes you. Lastly, they spray urine and leave fecal deposits to define boundaries using their scent. Luckily, most domestic cats keep this in one area. But big cats spray everywhere. When they're not busy making areas smell like them, they spend a lot of their time grooming. They do this for a number of reasons, but most significantly, it's to clean away food and additional odors, so they won't be detected by their prey or other predators. Their tongues are covered in barb-like hairs, which feel like sandpaper, making the grooming process more efficient, and they also use them to strip fur, feathers, or meat from their prey. They also make great stylists. All cats stalk and hunt. They're ambush predators, so they'll lie in wait for prey to cross their path, and then move in for the kill. Climbing is another skill that comes naturally to cats. Leopards even drag their prey, which can be up to three times their own body weight, up into trees to keep it away from predators. And the high vantage points give cats a great view of their territory, or the living room and kitchen. Should be up there, you know. But sometimes they can misjudge distances. Cats are extremely vocal, from a lion's roar that can be heard for over five miles to a simple meow demanding dinner. Cats can make dozens of different vocalizations. And when it comes to playtime, the saying a cat is a cat is a cat definitely applies. Here's a couple of differences. Some species of wild cats actually enjoy water, like fishing cats, jaguars and tigers. This doesn't apply to many domestic cats. And more importantly, big cats can and will eat you. These guys on the other end? Probably not. To learn more about our mission to end the abuse and suffering of big cats, please visit our website bigcatrescue.org. And for more coal and marmalade videos, click on the link. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.